how to solve expressions with letters. So, um, we'll start with a very simple one. Five um, times x plus seven. That's a very simple one. So, um, that's the, um, that is the expression. So, 5 times x plus 7. Now, x, e x is equal to, uh, I don't know, 26. So, let's just say x is equal to 26. Now, um, we're just, so, as you guys can think, so, if x is equal to 26, then the obvious way would be to plug it in like that 26 plus 7 right because that's the obvious way 26 plus 7 but there's actually another way to do this that um because right here this one 5 times 26 now how to do that 5 20 that equals 100 100 5 times 6 equals 30 30 so that's 130 right there 130 and then that's plus 7 so add that that's 137 now what most people do is like some people at least what they do is um they just um let, let me erase all this what they do is they try to um well this I, this might work and this might not I have works sometimes using some numbers and sometimes okay we were to use again the expression is five times um times x plus seven so if five times x plus seven we already said one way plugging it in where x equals 26 is equal to 137 um 137 then that means what if we did 5 plus 7 which equals 12 and sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't so if you were just to do 20 um 6 plus um this oh my god that looks 26 um um sorry not uh, i messed up um not plus but if you were to do times 7 what would you get? Well, um, you would first 26 times 7 would equal to 7 times 6, which is um, 42. 2, 4, 7 times 2 equals 14. 14 plus 4, on the other hand, is equal to 18. So that is one um, very, very um, like wrong way to do it because only sometimes it works where it's like 1 times x, where x is equal to 1. Um, that's the only way, like, only time it can actually work because what's going to happen is, um, what's going to happen is, um, the, you're, you're not using the distributive property. Uh, well, you're using the distributive property, but you're not following the order of operations. And distributive property only works when it's, well, th what we just showed right there is um a false of the distributive property so and let, let's try another another expression um let's say we did um seven um seven times um eight um this is going to be a little harder one minus minus six x plus one okay how do you do that well so we're not we're actually not going to tell you what x is this time remember this right here that's there right okay so first thing you have to do is you have to bring this one right there because there's imaginary one and then you have to distribute it to that one and this this one right here that one right there so negative one times negative six is equal to six uh six x well six x plus seven plus negative one now because negative one times 
it would be negative 1. Now, 7 times 8 is 56. So, it would be 56 plus 6x plus negative 1. So, since you can't do 6x plus 56 because it's in a, um, x does not equal, x cannot be added to 56 because x, the value of x is unknown. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do 56, we're going to put them together and we're going to do 56 minus 1, which is basically plus negative 1 and minus 1 are basically the same thing. Um, 56 minus 1, which equals 50. Five, and since it's 55, we can then end it with 55, um, 55 plus 6x. So that's how you, that's how you, um, solve expressions. Um, hope you guys, um, learned something this video. And, well, peace out.